So here I am attempting to draw Negan, uh, I think for the fourth time, fourth or fifth time, uh, struggling to find um, sort of position. So I think I'll just have him standing up. I was going to have him like crouched down like he's clubbing some kind of zombie or something, but I think uh, we'll just have him holding that bat like stood up. Um, you know, just trying to find the figure of Negan uh, from The Walking Dead. I'll try and make him a bit more bulkier, you know, um, sort of like the comic book character instead of uh, the TV series. And I, I like the the way that the, the leather jacket's drawn anyway, where, you know, lots of black lines across it, which we'll get to later when I begin to ink this. Uh, I'll just put this in real time because I ain't really done a real time sort of video for some some time, <laughs> real time for some time. Um, you know, I've always like uh, sped it up um, just for the lazy way, really. So I thought I'd just uh, talk through the process of drawing this. I haven't really sketched the bottom of the legs because they'd probably disappear off the page. So it's mainly like uh, focusing on. Uh, the main bits of Negan, such as the bat there. Um, just draw some squiggly lines at the top and that, and, which will be the barbed wire. And just try and flesh things out as I go along. So yeah, this is the fourth sketch, I think. Uh, trying to work this out. I'll probably show you some things at the end and Maybe one drawing that I ripped up. <laughs> um, yeah, but this one turned out, you know, pretty good, especially by the end. You'll see. Let's zoomed in closer there because I want to draw some more uh, features there. We can see the eyes and the shape of the face, uh, the frown. Uh, make it, make like Negan look like he's just bashed someone's head in. Could be a zombie, it could be someone else, I don't know, to be honest. I think the fact that it took a few sketches was because I was sort of like struggling to decide whether to draw him from the TV series or the comic book. So there was that to think about as well. But I do like the comic book. Um, incarnation or design of Negan uh, a bit more bulkier and you know like uh, particularly on the arms and the shoulders things like that I mean the the character in the TV series played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a good character you know um, you can't expect it to be the same you know within a television program and you know, a comic book, they have to make some changes, obviously, but I've tried to go with a comic book sort of uh, character more. So yeah, I'm just like sketching the hair and things like that. Trying to darken some lines that are working quite well. What are the outline? wanted to get and a lot of the structure has to be um, focused uh, on the, the strong sort of character that Negan is so, um, I think that's reflected in his the way he holds himself and holds the bat loose heel and fists clench sort of thing so that's what I'm trying to aim for um, gloves he's wearing black gloves so we'll um, add them in later when I start to wink yeah, with some markers and things so I'm still at the sketching stage just trying to sketch out that jacket and a lot of folds and creases and things like that And the hand there holding the bat. So 
So yeah, you can see me just uh, trying to sketch things and I'm trying to talk over this but I'm not really sure what to say to be honest so um, <clears throat> yeah it turned out a good drawing anyway I know that better than the other sketches that I did I think them previous sketches that I did beforehand um, sort of helped me uh, with this drawing. You know, the more you uh, push through the drawings, uh, the bad drawings, I'd say, yeah, the better you're able to sort of visualize something. Um, and this was, you know, I've, I've looked at numerous comic book pages with Negan in and you know, I just tried to work out a good sort of pose for the character. And this is the best one that I could think of. You know, with the bat. I did try in other sketches to draw uh, with like maybe a zombie's head right in front of the character or something like that. And um, I just couldn't visualise it, so it didn't work out. But I think this... This sort of character pose is even better for the character, really. It's got all the elements of the, you know, character with the leather jacket and the bat and the even the hairstyle, sort of like slick back hair. Some blood hanging off the the fist there. You could have like punched someone's head in or something, beat someone up. You never know. So I zoomed in there. Now you can see the head looks a bit more sketchy. So I'm trying to like define certain things. Give him some eyebrows as well, which I forgot about. Giving some uh, solid staring looking eyes and frown lines and other details. More darkness on there, but that'll come when I start to wink uh, the drawing. I'll be using like standard Sharpie marker and other ink pens that I usually do, you know, use. So. So even though I'm sketching almost darker lines here, um, when I come to ink it, I'll probably like change some of them lines. Um, and yeah, when actually when I've inked, you know, the drawing, it it does take on a sort of life of its own really, and it changes the drawing for the better, especially when you're inking them you know, over them pencil lines that I've already sketched. Got like the slick back hair there and the sort of zippy part there. I'm not, I'm not sure it went like that but I've just made it up like that anyway so <laughs> dodgy air uh, collar there. But the thing I like doing on this uh, Negan character is the leather jacket all of folds and creases and things like that. It just it seems to make up the character for me, but you know, particularly from the comic book, it's more like a stylistic sort of choice. Uh, when I'm inking that, um, reminds me of the ink work in like things like Sin City and you know Frank Miller artwork. Uh, you're blocking in, you know, sort of heavy. Um, almost like scribble marks which are strateg strategically placed <laughs> I'll say that word um, just to show like the muscle and form and you know uh, things like that on the character as well 
<coughs> so yeah, that's what Sharpie markers come in handy. Although I don't agree well with the Copic markers uh, later on, um, they seem to smudge a little bit, but I like using Sharpies because they're, they're fairly cheap and it, sort of inexpensive, so I use them a lot. Still going for that sketchy sort of feel. Um, in all my drawings, I, I seem to do this where I'm just layering in quick lines which can always be cleaned up later. Um, I seem to work on the sort of, um, you know, if I, if I draw it quite sketchy, then I could always clean it up on computer, but I never do because. Um, I'm not too good at computer stuff at the moment. Um, I still haven't, I sort of avoided it for far too long. So eventually I will, you know, take my drawings to the next level, but, you know, and be able to colour them digitally and things like that. You'll know, save on markers, I suppose, and things, you know, that cost a lot of money. So, yeah. But I definitely like the way I've blocked in all the, the shadows with a Sharpie marker and, you know, things like that. Just trying to draw the outline of that bat. Draw darker, darker marks on the bat. To, uh, particularly when I'm going to colour there, I'm going to add some blood there and that's what all them squiggles sort of symbolise. <laughs> I'm sort of going, I can't remember in the comic books actually. Um, I think particularly from the TV series, uh, Negan, the character, has some kind of um, scarf or something around his neck. Um, I don't know if it's a cravat or something or whatever you call it. Um, but it just, I've left space for that there which I'll colour later. You can see his neckline there that I've drawn round. And just a few little lines here and there. Just trying to clean up the drawing now. And darken them eyebrows. Add another little bits of shadow on the on the jacket, which I don't think they're quite as noticeable. But it's good to add like thin and thick lines together. Like I've always said in uh, certain drawing videos that I've done, where I've always done this. And if I was spending more time on a drawing, I'd go through the complete range of uh, different thicknesses. Um, you know, I'm using like, I think it's a 0.8. And just to do the thinner lines from the, the Sharpie marker pen that I was using for the thick lines there. But I would use other, you know, types of ink pen. And draw thin lines. I'm trying to work out that bad wire. I think it was, it was just best to draw it looking like string and just do some small little spikes off just little off cuts of it sort of looks like barbed wire yeah. there's a couple of them little spikes and I'll probably like use a a cool grey um, to make that sort of barbed wire stand out. <clears throat> I 
So yeah, lots of uh, quick sketching ink lines help define certain parts of the drawing. I think that fastening on that coat is uh, like a zip. I just wanted to try and do a really quick scribbly looking zip line there. So I think it makes sense to have some more blood splatters here and there. Do that blood drip there and colour them in later. So I was going mainly for, <clears throat> you know, because I've coloured this after the fact, so I'm just like talking over it now. Um, I used mainly like grey tones, except for the blood and you know, the uh, Negan's sort of neck scarf thing. Uh, there was red, obviously. And, you know, I think the grey tones work quite well, especially like the comic, because that's, um, you know, like The Walking Dead, it's, it's all like grey tones. They don't even colour the blood, except maybe on the covers of the comic book, so... I used a, a cool grey, um, I think it was a 7, cool grey 7, I can't remember to be honest, it was one of the darker ones as you can see, because it's supposed to be like a, le a leather looking jacket, um, going for the sketchiness of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the TV series so far. It's sort of like following on a lot of the comic book um, sort of high points and things like that and, and the low points, obviously. Um, really is good how they're trying to fit everything in and set you know stuff up for um, future seasons. Um, I can see a lot of the uh, recent comic book stuff coming in like the Whisperers, uh, the Whisperers War thing. Um, Ezekiel have already, you know, brought in, and the Tiger, and you know there'll be like Alpha and Beta and you know all them other <laughs> sort of characters, which you know hopefully I'll, I, th I think they should introduce them. Um, yeah quite like it. I'm using uh, some warm greys, I think it's a warm grey one, uh, just to add a light tone to the face. And then a, a warm grey three, which is a darker tone, just under the eyes and certain shades of the face. And the frown lines. And the side of the nose. Then a darker, warm grey, just to go over more, you know, creased areas and things like that. And I can blend that a bit with, I can go back to the warm grey one and blend some more of that, you know, back in. I like working in uh, grey tone stuff, that's why I've got a lot of these grey pens. I need to get a few refills there. So I'm going back with a warm grey one and just blending some of them darks. Just so the lines are as sharp on some of the darker areas. It just smooths it all out. Was colouring in them trousers. I think later on I could just add some more colour over this. Yeah, I was just I was just sort of like going for the quick sort of fix of adding uh, grey tones and 
things like that and you can layer over a lot of the you know color and the back too so I think the back you know would be a different color anyway it wouldn't just be a gray but I think the gray tones sort of equal the comic book so that's that's what that's nice about that I'm using a warm gray 7 which is sort of like a, a muddier gray uh, just to pick out the shadows on that scarf and I can layer over that with like a red Copic marker and it it doesn't make it appear as, as bright you know with having that grey underneath and then if I wanted to I could just add some coloured pencil over the top and add some more shades over the top yeah, so I'm just colouring in a bit of the blood on there. It's nice just to get a bit of colour on that back. And more blood splatters there, here and there. And get them drips as well. I'm using a cool grey, um, I think it's a cool grey 3. And if you can see there on the hair, it, the Sharpie marker just sort of bled a bit when I put the marker over the top. Um, it's an unfortunate little side effect, but I still like using Sharpie markers for inking because they are super cheap and things like that, just colouring the teeth a bit grey there. And then do the barbed wire as well, just give it a nice grey tone just to help try and separate them and make it look like barbed wire and not just string. <laughs> I started to add a bit of uh, cool grey on the on the face, but I, th I realised that was a little bit of a mistake. But you can't really see much of it. If I wanted to, I could just go over it with skin colours. But I think for now, it works as a really cool looking Negan sketch. Just adding some bit random bits here and there. But this sketch has been really fun. Fun to draw. Well, it took a few attempts to draw this Negan from Walking Dead character. Um, I was going to draw like um, Negan batting like a zombie over the head, um, particularly as uh, this previous sketch sort of implies, but I didn't like the <laughs> overall quick sketch and you couldn't see much of the zombie anyway, so um, I decided on that sort of pose, but maybe like he's stood up and he's just sort of done you know the business with his bat um looks a lot better i've just gone for the colors um that thing around his neck i don't know if that's a cover i can't remember <laughs> be funny if it is um yeah i did a, a few attempts at trying to draw this uh this was unsuccessful that's why i ripped it in half <laughs> uh, didn't uh didn't turn out too good and there was little rough sketches on the back um, just trying to work it out really and there's the other half there <laughs> um, yeah so it took took a few sketches to get there to this but yeah I quite like it got the colours the quick sketch sort of colours right and yeah I like it anyway I'm going to get back to drawing some commissions and stuff and trying to get back on track with these videos because I missed out on the weekend where I was trying to draw lots of commissions and I just didn't end up having time to make any videos. So it's good just to make a quick video 
as a break from the commissions. But got to get back to it. And some commissions I can't show you, but others I can. Um, so I'll try and show you what I've been up to in between the vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.